Hello, Tim. Are you there? Yes, sir, Jason. How are you? I'm good, Tim. Uh, speak right into the phone and tell us what is your question. Well, I am, uh, I'm with Splat Technology, co-founder. We do mobile app development. And uh, we're based in Arizona. We've made a number of contacts, some of which are with some, you know, kind of larger uh, companies and organizations. And they, you know, they have positive feedback. Hey, yeah, we'd love to do an app. Uh, we're excited about app development for iPhone, BlackBerry, Palm Pre, whatever. Yeah. But how does, how does a small fish like us <laughs> just get rolling? How do we qualify some of these big guys? You know, how, how do we know that they're sincerely interested? You know, kind of what's the next step after they give us the, hey, yeah, that's sweet. Tim, that is an excellent question. Uh, this is uh, what big companies do. When I was at AOL, a lot of my friends would ask me, can I get an introduction to AOL? I want to tap those 100 million people coming every month. You are now working at AOL. You sold them your company, Weblogs Inc. How can I uh, get a meeting? And I'd say, I can get you a meeting. This is not a problem. Just be aware that you may do five meetings, 10 meetings, 10 phone calls, and it may never go anywhere. And this is not unique to AOL. This is every company, Yahoo, Google, IBM, Microsoft, every big company. It takes forever to make decisions. They have tons of business development people, and the only reason those business development people exist is to take meetings. So what they do is they take meetings, and they make friends with you, because their whole existence is based upon making friends with people and doing meetings and looking busy. But they can only do, what, two deals, three deals, four deals a year? Let's just say it's one a quarter. That's all they can really absorb is one a quarter. So if they're doing one deal a quarter, that means you've got four shots. They're probably doing 15 meetings a week. That means they're meeting with over 500 people a year for four slots. It's like a 2% chance or a 4% chance of getting the deal. And you'll never know that. And you can have the best pitch in the world, but they just have a limited amount of bandwidth, and they got all these entrepreneurs coming in the front door trying to get it. So what you have to do as an entrepreneur is protect yourself, which is assume it's not going to happen. Assume six meetings in, seven meetings in, eight meetings in, it's not going to happen. I mean, you can be positive about it and, you know, rah, 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 but you have to run your business as if I'm going to go to 20 of these meetings and one's going to happen. And you have to sort of properly allocate your time. And it's always good to say to the person, listen, I know you guys got a lot on your plate. Is this something you guys think you can execute on in the next 30 days, 60 days, or 90 days, or more? And just, I would ask them straight up, like, do you think you want an iPhone application or an Android application in the next 30 days or over 30 days? Because we have three other clients right now, and if you guys are you know, not in it, we'll stay in touch with you, but we'll just put in our books to, to set up lunch in 35 days. You gotta sort of, this is, and this is called managing clients, right? I mean, you have to manage them, because if not, they're just gonna suck your life out of you. That's just the nature of it. Um, that makes sense, so, so get a time frame, try to get a time frame out of them. Yeah. Uh, even, even, maybe even in the first meeting, you know, say, yeah, we'd love an app. You know, Mahalo would love a, an iPhone app or an Android app. Uh, well, hey, Jason, what, what do you think? Do they think we can get one done? Something like that? Right, exactly. And what I would say to you is, well, we've already built the Mahalo Answers application. It's going to be in the store. We'll have it out next month. We're going to see how it does for two or three months. And uh, at that point, we'll know if we should invest any more in iPhone applications, if it's worth it. And what you should take from that is, if I say two or three months, that means probably four to six months I'm going to take to evaluate it, and then maybe I'm going to be able to do it, unless it's a runaway hit. And if it's a runaway hit, I may want to do three of them immediately. So what you have to do is just email me and say, like, how did the, app, you know, the answers go? Do you think you want to pull the trigger on another one for you know, topic pages or for tasks or something, whatever? You know? uh, and that's the, I, I think you have to manage the client and just be very blunt with them. And tell them you're busy. Say, I know you're really busy. I don't want to waste your time. Those are the people who wind up being the salespeople I like a lot. When somebody calls me from a CDN and they're like, hi, how you doing? I'm from the CDN and I was wondering, how do you get your bandwidth? And da, 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 da. I'm just like, we have a bandwidth provider. We're very happy. We're in contract for the next year. It comes up on this date. You can call me 15 days out from that date. And they're like, okay, let's get lunch. And I'm like, no. You know, like, there's no reason to get lunch. And that's, those are the people who piss people off. People asking to have lunch and this and that. I think you'd have like this slow kind of thing like, Hey, we, we built this iPhone application. Check it out. Here's a URL. If you're interested in an iPhone application, let us know. And then go wide and get as many of those people as possible and have 200 emails in your email database of 200 different companies, each that you can email a one-liner or two, like, hey, here's our new iPhone app. Here's our latest thing. If you guys want one, let us know. This way you don't put all your eggs in one basket. I don't know, Matt. What do you think? Sounds like you need a salesperson to do all this. Yeah, do you have a salesperson doing all this, or is it, are you like the owner-operator doing it? 
Yeah, there's a couple of us involved in, in the in the startup, and we're kind of all the sales guys. Yeah. So you're selling and you build it, or? Uh, no, we do. Uh, we contract out some developers. We have a couple in house, and ah, I see, I see. And a couple that we contract out. So yeah, we're I doing mean, the management and sales. Yeah. So I mean, these these companies will waste your time. Another thing you can do though is um, make lightweight ways for them to engage your product. This is what open source is all about. So if you had an open source version of your product or a free version, this is the freemium model. So let's say your product was, I don't know, to it's, it's an application that lets you, I don't know, uh, download my website, you know, and have it locally. So when I'm on, or, or something, I don't know what it is, like download, what could you download from a website? RSS feed. RSS feed. You have an application that downloads the RSS feed of your site. You could say, hey, we made it for free for you. Here it is in beta. You can download it here. And just give it to them for free and say, if you want to have the official version, we'll clean it up or whatever. But at least you could start them with something. You know? So maybe there's something... Yeah, that, that, we, yeah we thought of that. It's a good idea. Yeah, if you can, and they call that freemium. Free is the road to paid. So a lot of people do that. They upsell. So I, I like doing that. What I've done for Mahalo, we're doing these sort of site takeovers and wraparounds on the site. So I know people at different companies, so what I do is uh, I know the guy from Best Buy, I know the guy from Radio Shack, I know the guy from Virgin, the woman from Virgin America. I like to just make something. I have my creative department make it with their logo and with their stuff, and then I just email it to them and say, if you want something like this, let me know. And what happens is then they can visualize it and they realize you've done something and are qualified and you've thought about it and they can start the discussion. So whenever anybody e emails me and says, hey, we, we see Mahalo is the number 200 site, it's got 10 million uniques, or back in the Engadget days, oh, we want to get involved in Engadget, I would just say, well, show me what it looks like, make me a mock-up. And they'd say, okay, and then they, they would disappear. And I'm like, well, you want to be a partner and you won't even make a mock-up of how your service would look integrated into our service? Well, then we're obviously not that important to you. Uh, and then other ones would email me and say like, Hey, here's how Discuss, you know, that commenting software would look on your blog, calacanis.com, and they actually send it. Or they make a copy of it and say, hey, here's how user voice works. Or what was the other one? Is user voice and the other feedback one? They just sort of make the site for you and they show you a template and like here it is. That kind of stuff gets people to buy, I think, when they can actually visualize it. So if you're selling something and you have an idea for a Mahalo application, I would make I would go to your designer and say, hey, make this. Boom. Put a designer on staff. Go to 99 Designs and ask them to design it out for you. That makes sense. Yeah, I like that. You I know, love A little bit of work. investment, but, but it could pay off. I like it. And that's one of the things I do with people, because I do sales myself, because I love to sell. I will uh, contact like the CMO of some big-ass company, and I'll be like, hey, I've got something to show you. I'll find them on Facebook or LinkedIn. I'll be like, I've got something I want to email you. What's the best email address to send you a mock-up I made for Best Buy or for this or for that? And... They're like, oh, well, you've got something to show me. I'll, sure, I'll give you my email address. I'm not asking to waste your time. It's like, I want to shoot you a quick email showing you what we're working on. That kind of stuff, people appreciate the brevity of it. I got it. All right, man. Uh, good, good. It's a good question. It's a good question. How do you deal with big companies? Thanks. Thanks for calling in.